How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards is back with another Through the Mail Monday. That's right, it's Monday, another week, another Through the Mail Monday. We have six returns for you today. The first one coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. We have an orange index card, and we've got Hall of Famer Raleigh Fingers on an 84 Tops card, and we got some money back. An 84 Tops AL Active Career Win Leaders. Or ERA leaders, wouldn't be wins. And there's the save leaders card from 84 Tops. So three of my 84 Tops cards signed very nicely by Raleigh and uh, 20 bucks back. Could you please describe this with, uh, this is not Mr. Fingers, Daryl, oh uh, no. Oh no, Chris Cards is not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. If you've seen enough of my videos, you will understand that. That is not Raleigh Fingers, that is Daryl Knowles, man. They had the same sort of delivery and... The same mustache, only because they were encouraged to grow those handlebar mustache on a team. Uh, they actually got a bonus if they grew those mustaches. So that's why a lot of those guys in the 70s A's teams had those mustaches. And Raleigh kept his. Daryl Knowles did not, I don't think. So I screwed that one up big time. So that's why I got $20 back. It's $15 a signature for Raleigh and a $5 for inscription. That was for my 74 set. I was hoping to get that inscribed. Obviously, that failed miserably. The good news is I can send that to Mr. Knowles and get that signed pretty easily for free, I do believe. So I guess that is the silver lining there on that dark cloud. But there you guys go. Gidry and Gossage and Palmer. I can get these cards pretty much completed except for the Quisenberry, of course. I guess maybe I could have found a Quisenberry that was signed. But, I mean, I'm not that hardcore. That's pretty good. I'll take those three guys or uh, two guys on that one card and call it a day. There you guys go. First return, a legendary Hall of Famer. Uh, two, second ballot Hall of Famer in 1992, Raleigh Fingers. Good, good way to start. Let's move on to our second return. All right, next return from Al Downing, Santa Clarita, California. No surprise who this is. Orange index card this time. And there he is, Al Downing on a beautiful, beautifully signed 1966 Tops in his classic Yankees uniform. Spent nine years with the Yankees and then there he is with the Dodgers. Seven years with the Dodgers. 74 Tops signed very nicely for the set. 72 Tops signed as well. Strange he switched colors on us, went from black to blue. Not complaining, I guess black because uh, Yankees, I guess, is more fitting very nice. He's 750, a signature, nice round number. I was gonna send two cards and 15 bucks, but I saw the 66, and I'm like, that's a that's a nice clean card. Thought it would look really good signed, and it does look good signed. 1967 All Star gave up Hank Aaron's 715th home run in 1974. Al Downing, great signer, great signature, still. Still works with the Dodgers in some capacity, I do believe. And that's it, guys. Return number two. Let's move on to number three. All right. Boise, Idaho for our next return here. Right there. Stamped very nicely on this envelope from the post office, giving us a little bit of a clue who it might be. And we had no clue. It was going to be Rudolph Bartholomew Mioli, as his parents named him in 1951. 1975 SSPC card signed very nicely right there. A little washed out. 75 tops. He is looking up in the air after he probably popped out. Not the most glamorous action shot for him. Another SP, SSPC card there. Well, I got greedy on that. Major League Baseball debut right there on the 1974 Tops card. Inscribed very nice. Nick Ware, 78 Tops. He spent a few years with the Angels, in fact, after Bobby Valentine broke his leg in the early 70s. He pretty much got the starting job there in the infield. Turned into a utility player later on in his career with the Cubs and the Phillies. Six total years, only a couple major league home runs, but nice little player for a few years anyway. 11 pro seasons, retired after the 1979 season, and there you go, guys. Great signer, and he inscribed my 74 Tops card for the set, so another inscribed card for the 74 Tops set. Always happy to get those cards inscribed, and so it's something a little more than just their signature. And there we go, guys. Return number three. Let's move on to return number four. Yeah, Sacramento, California with the dinosaur stamp. And we have uh, Larry Lintz. Larry Lintz, very similar to Rudy Mioli. He was an infielder, a utility infielder. Signed the index card there as well. Very nice signature from Larry. There we go, 75. Did he sign all these with his inscription, Major League Debut? That's 
<laughs> That's not exactly what I asked for, but I was wondering when someone was going to do that. It looks like Larry is the first guy. I asked him for the inscription on the 74 Tops card there. He started his career with the Expos as an infielder, and he put the inscription on all of the cards, actually. Very good return from him. Very similar to Rudy. He played in six years, three with the Expos, two with the A's, three, literally three games with the Indians, and a few years with the Cardinals. Spent most of the time at the end of his career with the Portland Beavers in AAA. Very nice return from him. And yeah, I asked him to inscribe, as you see on the card there. And there's my keyboard. I usually crop that out, but I didn't crop it out this time. So um, there's a little bit breaking down the fourth wall of uh, Chris Card's um, production company is uh, getting lazy behind the scenes, leaving the keyboard in there. But there we guys go. Larry Lance, very nice signature from him. A very good signer. And of course, free, which you can't beat that. So Larry Lance uh, inscribed all of my cards with his Major League debut. Sometimes... Uh, I only ask him for the inscription if the card, the 74 Tops card, is actually the card, the team that they uh, debuted with because I've, I've noticed if it's not, they don't usually do that. And if there is a card that I send that is their debut team, they, they put it on that card instead. But Larry just put it on all the cards. So there you have it, guys. Larry Lynn's next return. Let's do it. All right, gang, return number five, Santa Ana, California. Let's see who we've got here. A lot of returns today from California. Got a bunch of cards in here from Roger Repo. Not really a bunch of cards. Roger Repo's um, pretty sick looking 67 tops there. Played a few years, nine years in the big leagues. He played five years in Japan, nine years total in the big. Six with the Angels, three with the Yankees, two with the Kansas City Athletics. In fact, there you see him with on that 67 tops card with a pretty sweet Kansas City Athletics hat. In fact, the A's should do a throwback of that that hat. I mean, they're not really um, getting along with Oakland anyway. They should just throw the KC back on the hat and uh, sell a million of those retro hats. That'd be pretty sweet looking. There you guys go. Roger is a great signer, and he signed these three cards very nicely for me. He was an uh, infielder, outfielder. He, had, uh, he compiled an OPS of over 700 with an average under 200 with a minimum of 100 at-bats. First major league player to do that, and maybe the only one to do that, but... I, don't, I might be wrong about that. I don't think anyone's going to correct me. No one's going to figure that one out. So I'll just go ahead and say he's the only player in the world to uh, accumulate those kind of stats for a single season, though. There you guys go, Mr. Roger. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right or not. Repos? 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 Repo? Is the Z silent? I don't know. I normally look these things up, but uh, I'm not doing it this time. I'm just going to go ahead and assume most of you don't know how it's pronounced either. So if you want to correct me, comments down below. That'd be awesome. Move on to our final return of the day. Let's go. Six and final return of the day. San Bernardino, California. And we've got uh, 74 tops there on the back. we got Pete Reichert. Blank index card. Looks like he signed these cards very nicely. we got a nice 60... Two tops there, beautiful, 62, 63, and 64 tops looks like it, and 74 tops and 74 tops update, or traded I guess, which would later become the update set. Very first traded slash update from tops was 1974, there it is. Two for the price of one there as far as getting my 74 tops set signed. As you can see from this week's returns, I'm going pretty hard at getting these 74 guys signed. 13 years in the bigs. Five of the Dodgers, five of the Orioles, including that 1970 World Series championship win. And, of course, 63 world champions with the Dodgers. So, very good pitcher. Two-time All-Star. 13 years in the bigs. Set a record by striking out the first six batters he faced in the big leagues during his debut on April 12, 1962. In fact, he had a four-strikeout inning, which is also a first and only for a debuting pitcher. And, yes, I did look up this guy's name because uh, I pay... A thorough attention. I'm quite the cunning linguist, but sometimes I gotta I gotta look these things up. It was either Richard or Reichert, and it is Reichert. And uh, when you look up names on YouTube, you can find gems like this. Tony Kubek, would you come over here? Here is Pete, Pete Reichert. What do you say, Pete? How's it feel right Beautiful. now? Silly question. <laughs> but any comment on the Cincinnati Red Ball Club? They're a good ball club, but I think uh, their pitching isn't as good as ours. Their bench isn't as good as ours, and uh, that's just a great ball club we throw out there at you. It is, and it has been day after day. Tony Kubek, I'd like to there's the man, the myth, the legend himself, Pete Rickard, and we are done with this week's Through the Mail Monday, number 159. Put it in the books. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Look at this week's haul. Holy Toledo. A bunch of 74 Tops cards for the set. In fact, 
everyone here 74 tops card except the raleigh fingers he is of course the 84 tops dude got three of his signed as well probably should have sent off to the gidry first you don't want to send off your free signer last after paying for the other two guys on there so gidry should have been first and then the paid guys last because you figured the paid guys are an automatic although gidry is pretty much an automatic he's a really good signer but he uh, is pretty sporadic of when he gets back to you with the card so Look at that haul, guys. As I said, very nice returns from everybody. Very cool array of vintage. And that's it, gang. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Some football yesterday, some crazy games yesterday. And the Super Bowl is set between the Rams of Los Angeles and the Bengals of Cincinnati. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Crazy. The Bengals. Uh, I'm going to put some money on the Rams just just because. But who knows, man? Who knows about the Bengals? They might just be the little engine that could this year. So that's it, friends. Thanks for joining me. As always, hope everyone had a great weekend, as I said. And hope everyone has a great week. See ya.